breaking news as protesters storm the Capitol during the vote certification today, plus big news coming out of Georgia with the likelihood that both Democrats will win, and that has significant consequences on a third stimulus check, and finally, some major concerns about the EIDL grant program, and what you can do to prepare when the new EIDL rules and or form goes live. Hey everyone, it's Ryder from Skip. It's Wednesday, January 6th. I hope you're doing well, staying safe. There's so much news to cover, especially this breaking news that's happening coming out of Congress as pro-Trump protesters stormed the Capitol building, putting a halt when lawmakers in the Senate were in the middle of certifying the election results. They've paused that. There's been reports of smoke bombs and more in the Capitol. We're watching that, but we hope everyone is safe. By the way, thanks as always for supporting us and our effort and subscribing to our channel. At the end of this video, I'm going to give a few tips on the EIDL grant progress. More information has come out, but I want to focus on the breaking news, both the protests at the Capitol and the Georgia Senate runoff, because those are pressing. Then we'll get to the latest on the EIDL grant. Here's a look at the free skip tracker, link above and in the description. Again, no one's received any EIDL grants. SBA is still working on the new rules and forms, so there's no action currently needed. As always, you can check to see if your address qualifies to be prepared and why this is so important. We want as many people as possible to use this tracker. It will help you because the SBA has been a black box the entire time. They released some data in the first go around and it wasn't pretty and it wasn't very substantial. The question on your mind was why did people have to wait months and months to get the grant? Why was the communication so bad? You know, we have the largest EIDL grant tracker in the country and there's currently around 100,000 people using this tracker. The more people that can use this, the better it is for you to see and monitor progress to have some transparency into the opaque SBA. I'm gonna talk about that more, but I'm also gonna pin a comment. There are some amazing YouTubers out there Meet Kevin, Clear Value Tax, so many folks that are covering EIDL, PPP things daily. Many of them already know about the tracker, but feel free to add in a little bit extra pressure to encourage their subscribers to also use the EIDL grant tracker. Comment on their videos, shoot them a quick email, tell them what you like about the app. I promise you it will go a long way. All of us will have better peace of mind and insight. Let's dive into the Georgia Senate runoff race. For Democrats, it is looking good, and that means they will likely, it's not finalized yet, but likely get control of the Senate, and that means we can expect $2,000 stimulus checks. Here's why. Okay, Warnock has already been declared a winner against Kelly Loeffler. The other race is still very close. Ossoff is leading by around 18,000 votes with 98% reported. Again, according to the New York Times tracker, it's leaning very likely that he will win, but the race hasn't officially been called yet. If the results hold, that means the Senate will be split 50-50 and Democrats will be able to push things through. They'll be able to pass the $2,000 stimulus check amendment that was passed in the House last week. So for those of you wanting the stimulus checks, wanting more support, that's a positive signal. You know, we have the stimulus tracker on the Skip app, and we've seen that over 5% of people have gotten their $600 stimulus check. But of course, if the 2000 gets passed, again, it's not clear if that's going to be another 2000 or it'll be the difference between 2000 and 600. My prediction is it will be the difference if it gets passed. So 1400 will be the most likely scenario. So for all of you struggling, maybe you're still unemployed or on unemployment, that's a good sign. We still don't know for sure. Back to the Capitol, just keeping an eye on the news here. They've stopped the live stream. Again, we'll see what happens with the vote today, if they can continue the vote later. And what does this mean for the inauguration? You know, with this type of violence and protests happening today, are we going to see maybe a modification for the inauguration, which is slated for January 20th? But look, the other positive piece of news if the Georgia Senate results hold, is that there will likely be a new stimulus package, okay? Democrats, both Pelosi has said this and Biden has said this, that the $900 billion stimulus package that was signed into law a week and a half ago is only a starting point. You know, lawmakers still believe, especially Democrats, that cities and states need help. Cities and states need funding, and that was left out of the last package. So there was a few hundred billion set aside for city and state governments. Certainly there would be a push to get a bill with at least that in it. Probably more vaccine funding, probably more unemployment boost funding, and TBD on EIDL or PPP funding. But it depends on how this round goes. 
The new EIDL PPP round is still closed. No new applications are being accepted yet for both programs. And here's what I'm concerned about, okay? There were scathing reports about how the SBA handled the EIDL grants and the EIDL loans. The SBA Inspector General raised red flags on about more than $78 billion in aid. And there was massive, massive claims of fraud that they found. That was just the tip of the iceberg. One example was one phony business with 24,000 in annual revenue and exactly 10 employees showed up again and again, according to some loan officers. A lot of fraud and abuse of the program. Part of the reason why I do strongly believe there will be a new form this time around. They're not gonna do the same form when this much fraud was identified. They gotta improve this to make it more fraud proof to protect the legitimate small business owners and individuals and sole proprietors and independent contractors who legitimately need help. And that's probably you watching this channel. I hope this is addressed because coupled with the fraud and the black box nature of the EIDL advances, the biggest stress was not when to apply, it was after you applied and you were waiting and waiting and waiting. And that's why our tracker in the first go around had around 150,000 people using it because all of us were in the same boat Okay, what's going on? Are people getting these? What percentage of people are getting them? Of course, the biggest frustration for many people was that each EIDL loan officer kind of calls their own shots. You know, they had a framework to how to evaluate you, check your credit, maybe ask for more information, and they had an automated program too. But at the end of the day, for issues that were escalated, they had to evaluate manually. And a lot of times, those got lost in the cracks. Even if you called in, they still got lost in the cracks. So those, those things did happen. I mean, of course it's a big bureaucracy. So my hope is that the money set aside both under the low income provision, the 20 billion for the low income provision, and the 20 billion just for EIDL grants, if you didn't get one in the first go around or you wanna apply again, that it gets distributed fairly and equitably and timely. And I wanna share some data before we wrap up that we haven't shared to date. And I don't think other channels have shared this either. Basically the total number of EIDL advances that were distributed in the first go around. Again, the SBA didn't make it easy to get data. They put out reports because they had to, but those reports were often lacking and didn't have the real information that people cared about. Before I do just wanna show you, look, this is why when people start getting grants, this tracker will update. We will also have more information about the progress such as based on when you applied the week, what percentage of people have gotten their EIDL grants to give you a bit more data. Finally, when you look at the stimulus tracker, over 5% have received their stimulus check and vaccine, around 5 million people have received at least one dose. Here's the exciting data that hasn't been shared yet. Okay, there were almost 6 million advances distributed in the first go around. That's impressive for the total 20 billion that was allocated for the program. That's around 3.4 thousand per individual or per small business rather. And that very closely aligns with the 3,600 average that we saw. I'll leave a link to this data in case you're curious, in case you wanna take a look at your state. It'll be on the EIDL tracker on the Skip app under more info. It's very interesting to see the differences between states and just how many advances were dispersed. Six million is a lot. So since we have double the funds this time, you know, it's highly likely we'll get 10 million people advances this time. Of course, the low income provision will give the full $10,000. So that's going to lessen the amount of people. But this shows you that there is a limit. We certainly expect, I don't know, close to 20 million people to apply because everyone knows about this program now. Everyone's keeping an eye on it and everyone wants to apply if they're eligible. But overall, good news. We have the potential of a third stimulus check with the $2,000 getting approved. We've got the potential for less fraud in this go around and more clear instructions, which I am optimistic will help you watching this channel. And finally, as mentioned, feel free to spread the word because we are the only third party trying to give some information and insight into the process and what's happening through data here. So share with others, comment or email your other favorite YouTubers, especially if they know you. As always, thank you so much for subscribing and supporting our channel. We'll keep you posted on what's happening on Capitol Hill and on the election vote and on the Georgia Senate vote. Stay well, stay safe, and we'll see you tomorrow.